everyone. Welcome. I'm going to go ahead and give a few moments for everyone to join. Hi, Asani. I'll give you a wave here. Hello, welcome, welcome. Come on in. Hi, Lilypad the Doxy, welcome. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Hello. Hi, George0222. Nice to see you. Just gonna give a few minutes here, make sure everybody can get in. Hi, Jennifer Lee, underscore sweet life. Welcome. All right, well, it's been a couple of minutes here, so let's go ahead and get started. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our third Instagram Live. We are so excited that you're here. My name's Bree, and I'm a part of the Adobe Elements social team, and we have some really exciting news for you. Photoshop Elements 2022 is here. So today I'm gonna to take you through a few of our favorite ways to edit your photos. And just so you know, these are only a couple of the all new features in Photoshop Elements 2022. So after today, make sure you go download the free trial and get in there and play around and see all the fun things that you can do. Once we're done here today, we'll post this live on our Instagram where you can click our link in bio to download the free trial. We will also post this on Facebook and our YouTube channel as well. And within those posts, you'll have the link to go out and download the free trial. And uh, if you have any questions today, you can go ahead and pop them right down here in the questions button. And if we have some time at the end, I will try to answer a few. So let's go ahead and get into it. As I mentioned, today I'm gonna to be showing you a few photo edits that are sure to impress. First, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the perfect pet guided edit to give my sweet puppy a glow up. And then once I get that picture looking exactly the way that I want, I'm gonna show you how to add some cool animation to your photos with moving overlays. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the perfect pet guided edit. I have this super cute photo of my puppy Bella, and I know all of my friends and family would just love to see this photo. However, the picture itself isn't really the best. It's a little tilted and Bella's leash is in the way. She's got some red eye and the colors are a bit muted, but luckily I have the perfect secret weapon to fix all of that. So give me just a moment here. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Perfect. All right, there she is. Hi, Bella. <laughs> so as I mentioned, I there's just a few things about this photo I wanna take care of. I wanna remove that leash, and then I'm gonna make a few edits to Bella in the background to make sure all those colors look nice and bright. I'm gonna go ahead and click that guided button and then choose special edits, and then scroll all the way down here to perfect pet. As you can see, there are so many things we can do with this guided edit. And the really cool thing is it's gonna walk us through step by step. So the first thing I wanna do here is straighten my photo. It's a little tilted. So all I have to do is click, hold, and drag on the horizon of the picture, and it automatically straightens. And those corners there are filled in automatically as well, thanks to the Adobe Sensei AI technology in Photoshop Elements. And now I'm gonna crop my photo since Bella isn't exactly centered. Just wanna make sure she's perfect and in the center. Yep, that looks great. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and remove some unwanted objects. You can see that there's a few different options here. I can remove dirt and spots, remove collar and leash, and fix pet eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by removing the dirt and spots here. If I zoom in onto Bella's face, you can see that there's some markings around her eyes. I think that they're tear stains. So all I have to do is draw over those markings and they magically disappear. It's so easy. So now that I'm zoomed in, I can see that Bella has a little bit of red eye here. And I'm gonna go ahead and fix that by choosing fix pet eye and making sure I unclick the pet eye box down there. That is specifically for flash. Uh, and not for red eye. So I'm gonna zoom back in and all I have to do is click on Bella's eyes and that red eye just disappears. Poof. <laughs> so now let's go ahead and remove that leash. I'm gonna click remove collar and leash from the drop down menu. 
And I'm gonna zoom back out a bit and increase the size of my brush and grab some of the background by holding down the Option key and clicking on the part of the background that I wanna clone. And then I just paint the leash out right there. It's so easy to do. That clone stamp brush will keep using the section of background I selected earlier, or I can choose a new section of background to use. So I'm gonna zoom in here just a little bit more so I can erase that last part of the leash. And yeah, that's pretty close, it looks good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use the clone stamp brush on her fur and paint the leash out here to create that nice seamless transition along her neck. That looks absolutely great. But as you can see, the leash, leash cast a shadow here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that clone stamp brush again and paint over the leash's shadow watch it just magically disappear. Let's zoom back out here. Oh, that looks so good. I love her sparkly collar, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep that there, but I'm gonna move on to the next step. So I'm gonna click Subject right here, and there's a selection that automatically pops up around Bella, but it actually missed her bottom left foot. So I'm gonna choose the selection brush and paint her foot back in. I wanna make sure that all the edits that I do will be applied to all of her and not missing part of her foot. So now as I scroll down here a little bit, there's a couple options. I can fine tune things like lighting or use enhance to lighten or darken her. I'm gonna start with adjusting the shadow here. Bella's looking a little dark, so I'm gonna bring that shadow down a bit by dragging the slider to the right to lighten her up. And this will make her stand out just a little bit more. And I'm gonna actually leave the highlight the same, but I will adjust the midtones just a bit. Again, I'm just really trying to make sure that color is nice and bright. Perfect, so now I'm gonna use the Enhance section to make a few more updates to Bella. I'm gonna go ahead and start here with the Darken brush, and I'm gonna really bring out some of that coloring in her ears and her head. The camera washed that out a little bit. And she also has some darker hair around her nose. I'm gonna darken that up slightly. And then lastly, I'm gonna go down here and darken up her belly just a tad. Oh, that's so cute. So let's move on now and go to edit the background. I really wanna make sure Bella pops. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna take those shadows and brighten them up a bit. You can see how automatically my photo is getting brighter and brighter. I just wanna make everything not feel so dark. Make sure Bella really pops, like I said. That, that looks good. All right, I'm also gonna adjust the the mid-tone here as well, just to make sure my photo feels nice and bright again. Yeah, right there. Yep, that looks really good. So thanks to the Perfect Pet guided edit, Bella is all glammed up and she looks incredible. So the next thing I'm gonna do here is click that next button and it gives me the option to save or continue editing in quick mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and save my picture here. Perfect. And now that my picture is saved, I'm gonna show you how to add a little magic to your photos with moving overlays. So to get started, you just go up to that top menu bar and click Enhance, and then scroll all the way down to the bottom and mo click Moving Overlays. So there are so many preloaded options in here to choose from to give your photo that cinematic touch. I'm gonna scroll down here and click, ooh, these bubbles look cute. Let's see what those do. I click the overlay and you can see it adds it to my picture. And then I can scroll down and click the play button and watch them start moving. Ooh, that looks good. Uh, however, they're a bit overpowering and I want Bella to be the star. So let's try these butterflies, that looks good. Oh my gosh, those are so cute. However, I'm really kind of looking for something that's gonna match the scene a bit more and the season with those leaves there. So I'm gonna scroll down some more and find, there we go, some falling leaves. Click that. Okay, these might be it. Oh, those look so good. I give my photo that magical touch I was looking for. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and press pause now because I can move those leaves around. I wanna make sure none of them are really falling too much in front of Bella's face. So, oh, well that one did a little bit. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and move the overlay back a bit. And that is perfect. That looks great. There's a couple of things you can do with moving overlays. You can protect your subject or change the opacity of the overlay. You can also refine the overlay and you can even move and scale to make them bigger or smaller or rotate them. So now I'm gonna export my gorgeous new photo. Since I added those falling leaves, that technically makes it a video. 
So with Photoshop Elements, you can export your photos, or excuse me, your videos as MP4 or GIFs. So let me go ahead now and share full screen what Bella looks like. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Those leaves falling, the colors, and you can see that I really brought out those areas with Bella's ear and her head and around her nose. Oh my gosh, I love it. And really, everyone, that is it. It is that simple to take your favorite photo and turn it into an incredible creation. This is one that I know I'm gonna cherish forever. I'm gonna go ahead here and stop sharing my screen. All right, so before I go, I'm gonna send some last waves here to everybody. Oh, thank you everyone for the sweet comments. You all are so nice. Hi, Madonna. Hi, Sign and Sealed. Hi, Normal Life 68. Astawick. It is so good to see everybody here. Awesome. Well, unfortunately, it looks like we're out of time here, so I won't be able to answer any questions, but please feel free to drop them in the comment section of this, this video on Instagram, or like I mentioned, we'll post it on YouTube and Facebook, so you can ask, add your questions as comments and we will respond there. Um, also, as I mentioned at the beginning, these are just a few of the all new features in Photoshop Elements 2022. So make sure you either click our link in the bio or you go to either one of our posts and click the link there to go download the free trial. I promise you will not be disappointed. There's so much cool stuff you can do in Photoshop Elements 2022. So I hope to see you all in the comments of our Instagram soon. And if you ever have any questions or have a cool photo editing idea you'd like to see us do, please feel free to send us a direct message. We're always looking to hear from you and always looking to see some new cool ideas we can do. And that's it, everyone. So happy creating, and I hope you all have a wonderful Thursday. Thank you.